Hello, it's Susan Duclo with All News Pipeline. It's March 12, 2015, and I just put out an article. There's something very strange about Vladimir Putin's death hoax story. Now, let's start off at the beginning. By all accounts, the internet rumor that Russian President Vladimir Putin died is nothing more than a hoax. Now, I'll lead you to the website that explains that in just a minute. It started with a Facebook page titled Rip Vladimir Putin, which garnered almost 1 million likes when it hit the internet on Tuesday. Now remember, that was two days ago, March 10th, 2015, and the About page stated the following. At about 11 a.m. ET on Tuesday, March 10th, 2015, our beloved politician Vladimir Putin passed away. Vladimir Putin was born on October 7, 1952 in St. Petersburg. He will be missed but not forgotten. Please show your sympathy and condolences by commenting on and liking this page. Now, hundreds of Putin fans left messages. Many were rightly skeptical as well. And while there's nothing strange about the death hoaxes, quick search shows they're, they're a form of amusement for pranksters along the internet, and they've been doing it to celebrities for years. What is strange is a, re a recent Debka file report titled Unconfirmed Russian Internet Rumors that Vladimir Putin is Dead, but it, it states that a short announcement of Putin's death was seen briefly on Prime Minister Dmitry Medvedev's website early Thursday, that's two days later, only to be removed after 20 minutes. Now, this guy is the Prime Minister of Russia since 2012, and he was a former Russian president from 2008 to 2012, and somehow two days after the original hoax swept across the internet, his website fell for it long enough to put a death announcement up. Now you're thinking this guy's got a lot of connections, look who he was, look who he is, and yet he didn't know that this was false? I mean, was his website hacked? So first let's uh, go over to the site that tells us that it's hoax. Then we're going to get into some other very weird things that happened in the two days since then. Okay, here this is Media Mass and it says Vladimir Putin dead 2015, Russian president killed by internet death hoax. It says that the news of his death spread quickly earlier this week causing concern among fans across the world. However, the March 2015 report has now been confirmed as a complete hoax and just the latest in a string of fake celebrity death reports. Thankfully, Russian president is alive and well. They go on to explain that it was Tuesday that this came out. Now let's go over to the Debka file. Now the Debka file report uh, is dated March 12th today. It says unconfirmed Russian internet rumors that Vladimir Putin is dead. Debka file reports that Russian websites Thursday morning began running unconfirmed reports that Russian President Vladimir Putin had suddenly died. This has not been confirmed by any official in Moscow, but a short announcement of Putin's death was seen briefly on Prime Minister Dmitry Medvedev's website early Thursday only to be removed after 20 minutes. And according to officials in Moscow, Putin was expected in Kazakhstan Thursday for meetings with its leader, but failed to turn up. Now that's important because there's Reuters reports that discuss that, and we're going to get to those right now. Now, following links around while I was looking into this, um, I found a story on RT that uh, reported that Reuters had written an article saying that officials had told, or Reuters, officials had told Reuters that Vladimir Putin looked like he had fallen ill. So I looked on Google for that report, and sure enough, if you look uh, through their search, it says Putin delays Kazakh visit, no health problems, says Kremlin, and it says speaking on condition of anonymity, anonymity. <laughs> I can't get the word out today, sorry, not enough coffee, they told Reuters it looks like he, Putin, has fallen ill, but yet when you click the Google link, this is what you get, page not found, the Reuters report was removed, now, 
we did continue on looking, we did find another Reuters article, which was um, the Reuters UK page is the one that went down, but the Canadian version is still up. And there's a link to it in this article. And it does say exactly what they said. It looks like he, Putin, has fallen ill. So first off, why was it removed? Well, basically, I said it in the last paragraph here. A day after Putin's internet death hoax goes viral, a mainstream media outlet reports that his health is in question, with some of those articles being removed from the internet. Then two days after the initial hoax, the former president and present prime minister puts a death announcement up on his official website, then removes it. So, as I said in the headline, there's definitely something very strange about this Putin death hoax story. Check it out for yourself. Click on the links and see if you can figure out anything that I didn't.